Bani Yuang is the eastmost city in Java, this is where the sun first rises in the morning throwing its welcoming rays over Java. This lush green island is densely populated. Bani Yuangi Regency extends over an area of 5,800 square kilometers, comprising the southern beaches brushed by the Indian Ocean, to the impressive Mount Trong that stands at 3,282 meters and Mount Merapi at 2,800 meters above sea level. Eastern Haven Mountain climbers can hike up from Bani Yuangi to the stunning Ijen Crater and be amazed by its legendary blue flames that spring out among the yellow sulfurous rocks, which are cut and gathered manually by traditional miners. However, if you are planning to witness the magnificence of the blue fire, it is advised to not carry or wear any silver jewelry as the high amount of sulfur is going to tarnish it. Not only famous for its blue fire, but Bani Yuangi is also internationally known as the destination that has many perfect spots for surfing. Plankung Beach in Bani Yuangi is considered to have the second best waves for surfing after Hawaii. The beach that is famous with the name Jiland has a roll of waves with an average of 7 rows, hence the title it has been given, the 7 giant waves wonder. Red Beach Repentime Era is the best alternative for those who are still beginners and looking for a less risky experience of surfing. In comparison to Plankung Beach, Red Beach has almost no coral reefs along the beach line. Moreover, Red Beach has stunning views of sunsets that attract many international visitors and leaves them in awe. Are you looking for an extreme challenge? Make your way through the waterway onto Tabuhan Island which is located between Java Island and Bali Island, 20 kilometers away from the town of Bani Yuangi. Different from other beaches, the Buhin Island delivers an excitingly adventurous sensation of kite surfing and wind surfing. How to get here? By air. Indonesia's second largest city, Surabaya is connected directly from abroad by a number of international airlines. You can then connect through Garuda Indonesia or Lion Air flights from Surabaya to Bani Uwangi Blimming Sari Airport. There are also daily flights from Bali to Bani Uwangi. By land. The city of Bani Uwangi is located around 239 kilometers east of Surabaya, the capital of the province of East Java. You can travel from Surabaya to Bani Uwangi by car or by train. You can also travel by car from any other large city in East Java to Bani Uwangi. By water. If you wish to travel overland from Bali, catch the ferry at Gilamanuk port, on the western tip of Bali which sails to the port of Ketapang at Bani Uwangi. How to get around. It is best to rent a car at the airport or through your hotel, travel agent to explore the attractions around Bani Uwangi. Make sure to have a sturdy and comfortable vehicle especially when you plan to visit the mountainous regions or the savanna, even though the roads are well constructed. Attraction Nature Adventure The town of Bani Uwangi is the gateway to your explorations to watch wild animals roam freely in the reserve of Alas Perwo National Park, the oldest conservation area on Java Island. You can also go trekking through the savanna of Baloran National Park where you can see the large java water buffaloes called ban, small java mouse deer known as cancel, peacocks, eagles, macaques, and also many other wild animals. Are you looking for a unique spot? Green Bay or Serong in Pesangur and Willis town you with its waters, which are green on the shores and turn to blue as the water flows further away from the beach line. Its white sands and tropical atmosphere will give a similar feeling to Bali or Lombok. Last but not least, you can travel to Sukhumad Beach where turtles come to hatch their eggs. While on your way from Bani Uwangi, you can also experience a true sensation of jungle exploration on the challenging wilderness of Marubatiri National Park. There, one can see, macaques, peacocks and other endemic species of birds. If you are planning to visit this national park, Make sure to do the best you can in participating in sustainable tourism efforts by avoiding littering and respecting the local community. Culture You can visit Blambangan Park, the landmark of the Bani Uwangi Regency. Every night, you will be entertained by a bunch of cultural shows in a program held by the Bani Uwangi Tourism Office named Bani Uwangi Culture Every Day.
Besides being a tourist attraction, this event is intended to appreciate the talents and hobbies of Bani Yuwangi's young artists and also to preserve the Bani Yuwangi culture. Culinary There are four authentic cuisines of Bani Yuwangi that you should taste while you are there. Tempong rice consists of steamed white rice served with steamed vegetables and raw condiment. It is perfect for those who love spicy food. If you are looking for a distinctive breakfast meal in Bani Yuwangi, then a plate of nasi koyuk is all you need. This meal consists of white rice, savory grated coconut, and grilled corn. Nasi koyuk is also topped with lemongrass sauce and steamed clover. You can choose between a boiled egg or steamed fish as the side dishes. The taste is very comforting. 